I think that'll catch some fish. I like that one. Uh, I like that one. What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. The Bassmaster Classic is here, Lake Hartwell, South Carolina, which is a blueback herring lake. And that is exactly what today's unboxing is about. Uh, not Bassmaster Classics, but blueback herring. In fact, this is an unboxing six months in the making, sponsored by Philip Cheek, a loyal subscriber of mine who sent me everything you're seeing today, uh, some things for me to keep, and some things to give away, a big giveaway for all of you. I am super excited. Philip. I'm sorry it took this long to get this video out and done, but I'm confident uh, you'll want to get your hands on some. So enough yapping, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, the first thing we've got here, we've got a few different little boxes. Now the uh, the blueback herring are not native to Lake Hartwell. However, it does drive a lot of the bass's activity as one of their main forward species. I was reading a really cool uh, article on Bassmaster, uh, the website today, talking about about the Bassmaster Classic and how important the blueback herring is. And I'm like, y'all, I linked it below. Check it out, read it. It is a super interesting read. The first thing we've got here is uh, from Fat Lip Custom Baits. Always love showing off the, uh, the smaller bait makers. Uh, this happens to be a painter. Anybody who's doing this stuff, I've always got a ton of respect for them, especially uh, an airbrush painter, but he's painted his version of the blueback herring. Now you'll see uh, when I posted that picture from Bassmaster Classic, they had the, uh, the typical blueback herring on there. As we go through and look at some of these, some of these customs and even some that the uh, the companies put out are very different. You know, this could almost pass as a rainbow trout topwater bait, right? Uh, differences kind of all around the board. So we've got a pretty cool topwater walking bait. Uh, this is one that will certainly be going in the giveaway. And to be entered in the giveaway, all you got to do is watch and comment below and we'll go over the rest at the end. But pretty cool little walking bait. I think you got all this stuff from the Fish Georgia. I think they have uh, either like a website or a... Uh, like a podcast deal, I don't remember for sure, but we've also got uh, Chattahoochee Jig Company, blueback herring. Both of these are a blueback herring. They look different though. I don't know if maybe this one was mislabeled. Both say blueback herring on them. Really cool looking jigs. And then also their version of the blueback herring chatterbait. Very, very interesting, cool looking deal there. I like the lavender on it. So we'll throw those in. And then also from Lanier Baits, uh, a soft plastic that is to resemble the blueback herring. All of them look really good and this would fit well on those jigs or the chatterbait. That will all be going in the giveaway too. Notice there it says herring. Next we've got a bag of stuff from Palmetto State Armory. They're known more for their pew pew stuff uh, as you can see kind of on the, uh, the front there. However, they also do fishing tackle as well. And some of these are uh, specific colors to Palmetto State Armory. So a hat and a visor, uh, we might have to do a couple. We'll do a couple giveaways get some more chances in here. He also sent a, a cool, what do you call this, sun shirt. This is in 3X. That's pretty sweet. I like that. It's got the uh, the Palmetto State Armory deal on the front there. Okay, getting into the baits, we've got some from uh, Yamamoto, the Hardtail. Again, that's in their blueback herring. That's a really cool, almost like a bluegill color, right? A lot of these, like I've said, could pass as like a shad pattern or a bluegill pattern. And to me, that's something that you really would see in a lot of companies kind of as their bluegill color. A rattle trap in the blueback herring. I really like that one. This might be one that I keep and try to match that color. Uh, of course, from Bill Lewis, some of my favorite lipless crankbaits out there. You can see it is a blueback herring. This has kind of that blue purple into a kind of chartreuse yellow and then the lavender belly. Now that's, to me, that's more looking like that blueback herring, maybe just a little spot there. I like that one. Also a Smithwick Rogue. Now jerkbait, uh, it will be perfect jerkbait season coming up here pre-spawn. Uh, we're still frozen over here in Iowa, but soon uh, it's going to be time to throw this. And you can see kind of a dark blue back into a more translucent, clear kind of purple belly. You can see how these are kind of ranging from company to company, bait maker to bait maker, how different these are. Here's another one in the blue back herring. Uh, this is the Cotton Cordell pencil bait. So a pencil walking bait. Uh, it's got that kind of cup mouth, so it's going to kind of spit, pop to it. Really cool looking, but again, you know, blue, black, back into that kind of, uh, it's got a little bit of a red, purple there, but kind of into that translucent white, huh? Okay, also from Cotton Cordell, a couple little prop baits. So you can see it has a prop on the front and the back. I've thrown the Rapala, what is it, Skitter, Skitter Prop, I believe it's called. It's got the little props on it, kind of similar to the old, uh, you know, devil horse with the two props on there, but gives it a, a definitely a different cool look when you kind of pop it and, and sport it. It's like <laughs> two of those. So uh, that'll go one in each giveaway, but those are neat. I don't think I've ever seen or thrown this bait from Cotton Cordell. I know there's a lot of those prop baits out there. I've got a couple old ones, but don't really throw them. And from Gotcha, I've never heard of this place either. Tournament Lures, uh, again, blue back herring. I think they took it literally and just went, Pearl with a blue back. 
<laughs> so you can see how some of these really range in, you know, detail and color lines to, uh, just put some blue on the back and call it blue back. All right, what do you think thus far? Comment below and let me know, have you ever thrown a blue back herring type pattern in a lake where you don't have any blue back herring? I know my buddy Philip Cheek throws the blue back pattern in lakes and ponds that he has that don't have it and he catches a lot of fish because he always says, hey, show them something they've never seen. It looks close enough to a bait fish, but not exactly like a shad, I think is why it works. And, uh, you know, everything looks good so far that I've unboxed, but literally I've only uh, I've only hit the tip of what's in here. There's another half a box. But early last year, maybe even the year before, he sent me some of these. And I had a good topwater day. He sent me a KVD Sexy Dog, which you all know is one of my favorite topwater walking baits. Uh, I had good luck on that morning with this pattern. This is their version, the Palmetto State Armory. Uh, they're color specific to that blue back herring. So it's a color you only find at Palmetto State Armory. Looks very good in that Strike King color. So that's their Lucky Shad, you know, their version of like the Shad Wrap. You can see it's that long, you know, skinny, flat body, good for cold water. You know, a lot of the walleye guys and, uh, you know, even the river guys, huge staple that they're throwing. So again, that's something going to be coming up here. That's one that I'll throw in for somebody because that's definitely going to get bit. Doesn't have to be a blueback herring lake. That'll work anywhere. This might be another one that I keep to see if I can match it because I'd like to paint some of these up. Comment below if, if you would like to see my rendition. And if there's any of these that I'm saying, I'm, you know, I'm not picking. If there's one you want me to match, comment below. But I think that's another good one. You can see they didn't just put blue on the back and then pearl you know this has color layers it's that green with kind of a gold iridescence um, into the scale colors into that kind of blue and then kind of that pinkish purple uh belly there sorry i was kind of getting off kilter but that's one i would like to match i think strike king did a really good job on that and of course the red eye shad uh, is one that definitely gets bit especially in spring okay we got some more cool customs from lost lures uh, another custom crankbait painter. I'm not sure where uh, Mr. Cheek got these, but really cool looking again. Two of these, so these one of each of these will go in the giveaway. I like these that are the doubles because then I can you know put one in each. But again, kind of that blue, blackish, dark back with the yellow stripe. I was expecting to see maybe like a purplish pink on the belly, uh, a little orange there. But that's what a lot of these seem to be looking like. So uh, I like the looks of those. You know, that could pass as like a sexy shad, easy. You know, it wouldn't have to be a blue back herring, so like that. And he also did the blue back herring double pack, uh, a little like, maybe a little wake bait, and then the lipless. All of those are good colors. You can see this one looks more like that Strike King color with the darker green, black up top. That's more like that sexy shad, but they still look good. Oh, I found another one of those in there. Again, that's the uh, the Palmetto State Armory exclusive. You can only find this uh, this pattern at Palmetto State Armory, PSA. Uh, again, in that Strike King, that's the KVD uh, jerkbait. This, this is an interesting one. This is actually one that I have never seen. This is the BX Swimmer. So kind of reminiscent of like your jointed shad wrap type thing. It's got a small bill. It says it dies four to six feet. Uh, but I mean, a decently sized lure, what's it say? Four and three quarter inches. So it's not a small bait, um, but I like how they've got kind of that green holographic iridescent up top. You can see good color there. And it is the balsa, you know, the, uh, the Rapala BX series, that balsa. I like to throw the BX Brat. That's a cool one. I really, really like that one. I don't think I'm going to keep that one. That one looks pretty neat. I don't know. Comment below and let me know. Would you throw that in your lake? I think that'll catch some fish. Sticking with the Rapala, we've got another jerkbait from them. This is a jerkbait that I've used. Uh, again, this is their version of the blue back herring. This is the shadow wrap jerkbait, a slow sinking jerkbait. So really good color. That's Rapala's version uh, in the shadow wrap. Switching gears, what about Berkeley? <laughs> Philip even hooked me up with a Berkeley. So again, kind of like that uh, shad wrap type design here. What do they call it? The bad shad seven. So you can see it's that flat skinny type bait that dark back blue going to kind of some of the yellow it does have the dot there i like that it does have the the herring dot pearl belly but no pink or you know purplish red or anything on it so and again with the cold water these little flat sides the shad wraps they definitely do work okay how about a top water this is an evergreen showers blow i've got a couple of these i think y'all just saw those in an unboxing i don't remember if i unboxed those yet or not uh, i got a couple of these my first time ever but this is a big dog this is the shower blow 150 this is going to be one i'm going to have to keep i want to throw these for some pike even if I can get on some early spring musky guys will usually downsize to some smaller lures. And I know this probably seems big to a lot of people, but as a musky bait, this is not big at all. So uh, maybe right when that top water starts to kick off, you can see it's got a little bit of a cupped mouth. It's going to kind of spit as you walk it, but still a lot of action. 
decent rattles in it, good sounding rattles, that feathered treble. That's a cool one I'm gonna keep uh, and give a try around here because I would like to get on some toothy critters. He also included a cool little H2O Express, uh, like little miniature swim bait, jointed swim baits. I don't really have much luck on these. I've fished them a little bit like the Buka, um, like little baby bowl through Mystery Tackle Box that they sold them. Um, I tried some of those. I never got a bite on them. I know a lot of people that like them. So if you're one of those people, you'll probably like this. I know Randall had one. His, I want to say, was like a soft plastic weird jointed thing. He caught a, a good fish, I think like a four pounder on it. Something I've not had luck on though. So that's going to go in the giveaway for sure. Cool looking bait. I like the colors on it. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I went through this a long time ago and honestly completely forgot these were in here. This was it. This was the exact same thing that Randall was throwing. Not in this color. Uh, you can see again, this is the blue back herring. It's funny how like how different these colors are. They've ranged from company to company. Again, this is blue back herring, but not even close to that blue back herring, right? Completely, uh, you know, kind of different colorways. They've all kind of got that darkish bluish green back, yellow line, and then a the little bit of pink or purple on the belly usually. But um, this was the thing he was throwing. I think just a shad or an all white, like a pearl color. Um, this was the size, this larger size that Randy caught uh, that big four pounder on. So. Couple of those in there, I'll split these up, give one to the larger uh, giveaway and one to the other giveaway, but those are super cool. Those I can say do work. I haven't had luck on them, but old Randall did. Two more here, okay, this is a live target. This is a big soft plastic bait now. Slow rolling a swim bait like this can be deadly in the spring. Now, you know, I've thrown like little three and four inch swim baits, slow roll them in that cold water right along the bottom and I've had really good success. I was trying to think, a couple years ago I had that and destroyed them on it. Now nothing this big, uh, I did have one of these live targets a long time ago. It looked good, never caught anything on it, but this would be a good one if you want to get your hands on one of these, um, give it a try. You know that blue back herring look, dark bluish black, yellow line. This is just pearl belly, kind of following that pattern. And then last but not least, do you like fish? Do you like fish sticks? Then you will probably like this uh, this blue back herring. Uh, I don't know if this is more of a fish sticks, original hands or blue back herring, contains real bait fish and herring fish oil. So uh, it's more like a stick. It looks like you can maybe even rub this on cranks, jigs, plastics. I've seen this stuff before, but I've honestly never used it. So that'll be a fun one for someone to try uh, from KVD. And I actually read, I was reading an article the other day that said, uh, enough anglers don't pay attention to scent. Scent can be almost if not more important than action and color. I've heard that a few other times, so that would be interesting to try. I've got a few scents. I'm not a guy that, you know, scents stuff and resents it, so uh, I think this will be a good one for somebody to try. You have to let me know how you do. All right, Fisher friends, do me a huge favor and comment below. Let me know out of all those, which pattern was your favorite. Now, out of everything I showed you, I'm only keeping these three. Um, I think these two are gonna be the, uh, the most fun to try to match and paint on my own. This one, uh, I selfishly just want to try to see if I can catch some toothy critters on because toothy critters on top water is too much fun. I'm only keeping those three, everything I'm, I'm giving away. So whether or not you like blueback herring or the video, please, please, please do me a favor and also comment below and give Philip Cheek a thank you. He literally bought all this. I'm sure this is probably two, $300 worth of tackle that he sent to me for free um, as an awesome, generous subscriber and said, hey man, do a giveaway. It'd be fun to see what people think. Uh, do your thing. So brother, Thank you so much. You are the subscribe fish and friend of the day. Uh, and thank you everybody else that who continues to send me stuff. I am so far behind on subscriber stuff. I've got to get another subscriber unboxing going. Um, so thank you all, whether you're joining as a member, whether you're sending me baits. I've had people offer to send me money. I'm like, you don't have to send me money. Um, whatever you're doing to support me, honestly, all you need to do is watch, leave a thumbs up. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me. So Thank you all so flipping much. Um, go watch the Bassmaster Classic. It's going to be fun. I don't get into a ton of the, you know, tournament watching, you know, super intent. I just don't have time, but the Classic's always fun to watch. So enough for me. i got to edit. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time. Mm -hmm.